Coffee People. So hope you guys are doing great. As you can see, I am still here in Cold Foot, Alaska. And we are about 60 miles north of the Arctic Circle, which means I don't have a whole lot of daylight. And that also means I need uh, to get on this electrical project. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe a little later today though, this kind of got me thinking working up here. I used to work in remote places like this all the time, but it got me thinking maybe I should share what it's like to work, we call up north. Uh, a lot of questions that we get from you guys are, you know, like what are jobs like in Alaska and how much money do you make and can you find a job and you know, what is it like to work there? So maybe I'll touch on what it's like to work uh, up north as we call it here a little later. But in the meantime, uh, let's go and get this electrical project knocked out and see if we can beat the daylight. backup generator and it's fascinating so the generator of course makes power but because it's so cold here I mean they'll have batteries that you can use to start it but because it's so cold here you actually have to have an electrical heating element to be able to start it kind of like plugging your car in which is funny so we have to run power from a generator that does have power to be able to power the heating element to keep it warm enough to be able to start when it's needed so that's what we're doing today okay what do we got here oh heater one between two and six, and three and four, and that looks correct. We have a sensor that, I think it's in the radiator. Oh, I bet you the sensor is in the radiator. That makes sense. Yeah, I think yeah. it's over there. Okay. All right, we got most of this hooked up. I do need to do a power tie in here a little later. And I'm hoping I don't have to do it hot. Maybe they'll let me do a power shutdown. So hopefully that works out the way I'm planning. But in the meantime, we'll go and send you back on home, check on the family in North Pole, see how they're doing. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. How are you guys doing? I hope well. We're, we're doing okay. We're, hold, we're trying to hold down the fort. When dad leaves, there is, to be honest, a pretty big hole when he goes away. <laughs> Sad. But... He's, he's had cell phone service, so he has been able to keep in touch with me a little bit. I try not to bug him because I know he's under deadlines. He's got lots of stuff going on. Um, I do know that he is talking to you guys about different job opportunities and whatnot that is available up north or like in remote parts of Alaska. There are so many neat, different, diverse jobs around, <laughs> around our state. It's crazy, so I think he's giving you some really good info on that. Um, but yeah, I hope he's doing well, staying safe, Gilbert. I know sometimes on these uh, little excursions, things can kind of go a little haphazard, um, and they're working, you know, it's kind of like off the cuff, troubleshooting vibe. So I hope he's doing well. I know this is a really big job for them. Um, probably one of the biggest of the year that he's gonna be working on, so. Hope he's doing well, but I just want to say hi, touch base, see how you guys are doing. Pop in, say hi, we're, we're doing all right. We're maintaining. <laughs> Come home soon, babe. <laughs> we miss you, and I hope you're being safe. Please be safe. We'll see you soon. Got to do something pretty dangerous here. Are you being safe? I was going to have to work uh, a large power panel or a main distribution panel live, but I've got approval to shut it off for a short amount of time. The problem is when I shut this guy off, uh, hopefully it turns back on. A lot of these older systems, you never know. All right, Mike, we ready? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna do non-dominant hand. Always to the side and you shut these things off. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, we're down. Yeah, we're definitely down. Okay, let's do this. My headlamp's down, apparently my flashlight's dead all right, here we go. Got to tap into this guy right there. Did not want to do it live because there's just a lot going on. All right, let's get the meter. All right, that's 
pretty good. Pull on them, make sure that they're snug. All right, everything's out of power except for what were the three buildings? The north end, the south end. Okay. All right, let's go energize this and see. Lord willing, it turns it back on. Oh, non-dominant hand. Here we go, clear. That is not turning on. All right, there's something goofy here. Yeah, so this guy is not turning on. There's a lock, we might have to de-energize the primary. Oh, hang on, I think, this, I think it's going now. Clear? Nope. She ain't going. Let's go ahead and uh, disconnect on the primary here. In disconnect, no. Nope. See, I was always afraid something like this would happen here. So this, is this our 480? We should have a primary disconnect and a secondary disconnect. So that was our secondary disconnect. See, it's hitting something here. Okay, that should have done it. Disconnect was sticking, so we had to, there we go. Hallelujah. Woo! Good job, team. good stuff powers back on get nervous of those older systems because you just never know and I was concerned it would not turn back on and it didn't and but we won either way that's just kind of life up here working up north a lot of the stuff's a lot older here but anyway like I was telling you guys before I want to talk to you guys about jobs up here because it's just a different environment different type of a feel when you are working as we say up north so you've got a lot of different types of jobs available up here you have like truck driver jobs you have uh, oil field workers, you have construction projects and jobs, maintenance, security, um, uh, you even have cooks, cleaners, and support staff for a lot of the infrastructure. So it's a pretty wide range of work up here, and it depends on your skill set, of course, uh, but even on the lower skill set jobs, you still make a lot of money. So most of the jobs I just mentioned, you will make anywhere from a hundred to $200,000 a year uh, for most of them, not all of those. You know, of course, the higher the skill set, the more money you're making. But that comes with a trade-off because when you're working up here, you're working anywhere from 12 to 14 hour days. Uh, you're on a rotation schedule, like uh, two weeks on, two weeks off, or four weeks on, two weeks off. So getting used to that, uh, for me, the longest I've worked is five weeks. Five weeks is the longest hitch I've ever done. And it, it almost feels like you're working like maybe on a submarine or like a, a boat because it's like your whole existence is work. And that's just what you're there for. And you work and you go to sleep and you wake up and you just work. Now the problem with that is you get used to making money. And like a friend of mine, for example, he's a truck driver and he is a very good truck driver. Uh, that road that we're on, he'll drive that road uh, two, sometimes three times round trip a week. And he makes very good money, um, like I said, in that between 100 to 200 range. And uh, he'd like to do something else. He got offered a job in the lower 48, and they're like, man, uh, we're going to go pay you lots of money to come down here. He's like, that's great. How much How much are you guys offering? And he said, well, I think, you know, we know you're a pretty hard worker, so we could, uh, I think we could probably do 25 an hour. And he was like, uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Because he's used to, you know, making so much more. He said he could probably do 50, but they were just like, whoa. So it's a little bit tough because you get locked into making big money. And of course, you know, you have high cost of living here, right? So that kind of comes with it. And at the end of the day, are you really making more? Probably. But the flip side of that too is I know a lot of people, they come up here, work up north, as we say, and they work for decades and maybe they're a little bit more introverted and they do a good job working. They actually kind of enjoy this camp life. They end up never getting married. And so like, but they do things like they pay their house off and they pay off a bunch of toys and boats and snow machines and four-wheelers and all these things. Um, but then they kind of look back and they're like, wow, I don't have a family. 
and a lot of those people I know uh, live with regrets for for not investing in family, um, but taking care of finances. So there's that flip side too. It's kind of it's kind of different. There's also up north, not just like the slopes and such, but a lot of the remote villages. Uh, there are short-term jobs that you can work, just like I'm on right here. This is a construction project, short-term, I'm in, I'm out, uh, we can get our work done. Uh, we can make some decent money while we're here, but we're not, you know, living here for, you know, two weeks or four weeks. Teachers, teachers will rotate in and out of the villages up here in Alaska for short-term stints. They'll make quite a bit of money. Um, not maybe the hundred to two hundred thousand dollar range, but they will do better than most teachers make. Oh, nurses! Traveling nurses here are huge, and there's a huge need for traveling nurses. So if that's you, um, you can make quite a bit of money and see a lot of Alaska in the meantime. You can go rotate in and out of these smaller areas, and and these short term things you don't make near as much money as you do for the long term, like I mentioned before, but. Uh, it's a way to kind of dip your toe in to see if you can handle like up north life. Gonna wrap this one up guys. Appreciate you guys coming along. I hope that makes a little bit of sense of what it's like uh, working up north or above the Arctic Circle and some of the different uh, things that we have to go through. But uh, with that, I'll probably let you guys go. Um, but question for you before I do, would you ever consider working up in the remote areas of Alaska like I'm in? Like would you end up considering for short term or long term? I'd be uh, interested and curious. Maybe leave a comment down below. And with that, uh, I'm going to hopefully get in a plane tomorrow morning. So if you see some plane footage of me flying out, that means I made it. So you guys are awesome. See you guys in the next video. This big black cloud is coming down. Starring angels all around. A warm breeze from the subway underground. The snow. Fairbanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Hi. Good to be home. Good to be home. Oh. I should be fine. I'll be home to stay.